Dragons, dragons, dragons. This is what's on the menu today. Let's have fun. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. All right, so here are my colors. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay them out for you. Um, I've got a bunch of Malibu colors here, some rainbow, so a couple neons in there, um, some uh, ranger colors with a uh, wild plum. Uh, this is one of the alloys. You need to use a little bit of this guy when you use alloy, and it helps it uh, bond with the uh, canvas. And also ginger, pitch black, and a little bit of Santa Fe from Pinata. So, anyway, I normally will do a masking fluid with my dragons, but this time I'm doing something a little bit different. So, I'm just going to hit this on a time lapse and let it run because um, I'm just going to play and let's see how this develops. All right, today I just kind of wanted to play around. As a lot of you guys know, I've got a lot of heavy on my shoulders right now, and I don't want to fake it, you know, and just be spontaneously, you know, not a personality that I'm feeling and such. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to just straight talk about the art, and this piece took several hours to work on, so I've done the time lapse of it. It makes it really, really easy to talk through the process. So with my and i apologize for any of my ex excessive sews i've got an alcohol ink piece right now i want to play with the background just to get it down there and to also mess around with some alloy colors and that's the uh, coppery looking color that's in the uh, upper right corner um that one if you use that with uh, ranger make sure you use some of the blending solution it needs a bonding agent with the canvas anyway so i've done a big flood kind of blended these colors together now i'm trying to manipulate the colors by adding a little bit of alcohol ink and a little bit of rainbow in there because i want a little bit of sparkle and just creating the background for right now you see the pencil drawn in dragon so i already know where the background is most of the time i work on this i usually do masking fluid for my lines and this time i wanted to do something a little different um just trying to play with some stuff so i've got some brown tones that i'm introducing into the dragon's head to try to break them up a little bit different from the background I do like to have my dragons so that look like they match the background that they're hanging out in, you know, um, like emerald dragons, you know, with some kind of green background, you know, like he's in the environment in the forest or something like this. Uh, this particular guy, I've got a lot of real deep red tones in there, um, some brown, brownish reddish tones in there. There's some hot pink to kind of almost give a, a, a glow under the chin and neck area so what i'm concerned about is the alloy is kind of giving me a little bit of a hard time i do want to add some of that shimmer metallic -y kind of feel to it so i keep on messing with it over and over again i decide oh i also decided i wanted to add some dark color into the upper and bottom corner there by adding some black now this what I'm doing here is I've let it dry overnight and then I just took a just paper towel dipped it in some alcohol kind of squished the corner I folded it up a couple times so it was padded and kind of squished the corner and just dabbing it in some areas what it does do is kind of give a scaly kind of feel to it as far as texture but it also helps me start to mold into shape the the head of the neck maybe where the highlights and the you know the mid-tones kind of go give it some form now i also here uh as you notice boom all of a sudden there's a, an outline because of the alloy to add a sheen everywhere and the lighting where i was at there with the camera there was no way i could see my outline at all 
So I had to go to different parts of the studio, kind of change my angles a little bit, just so I could draw a basic outline. And, and so that's where I picked it up from that point on. I'm doing my um, illustrative line. I like to show a lot of texture with my lines, especially with something that is predominantly line art. I just think it adds a lot of character to the piece. I've always done that in the past. It kind of goes back to, you know, lino cut illustrations and such like that. Has a little personality to them too. And I did a lot more scales here than I normally do. Kind of gave them a, almost like a brick layout type of scales. Um, you see the blending solution under my wrist? There's a trick. Okay, so I've got this thing raised up and it's on a turntable right now. And it just allows me to just adjust it to make it easier for me to draw with or do the alcohol ink and such. Well, because it's up so much higher, when, it, when you get close to the edge and you're drawing, your hand goes over the edge and it, it's awkward to draw there. And so an easy way to do this is you just put something that's almost the same level as the canvas just to kind of extend out that platform a little bit. And so your hand feels a little bit more natural when you're drawing the curves and such. It really, really does help out quite a bit. So it doesn't, you don't get that awkward bit or feel to it. I don't know why I, I've noticed this just recently. I seem to draw things in threes a lot and I was trying to change it up a bit. Well, I was noticing I had three scales there and then I added a fourth one in there intentionally. So what I've done here, this is kind of like when I was removing, but what I did is the reverse. I've got a solution with uh, some brass and a little bit of alcohol in a bottle. And I would just put it on the tip of my paper towel. And so that way I was using the paper towel as kind of a brush and was brushing it on loosely. I wasn't too worried about it staying in the shape exactly. I wanted to use the gold as kind of that highlight. You know how, it, for example, um, I've got a paint horse that's out in the field and he's a brown and white paint. And in the springtime when his uh, spring coat comes in, when the sun hits it just right, that brown tone has a very coppery kind of feel to it. But it only looks coppery right where the, the sun is hitting it. So that's kind of what I was doing here is giving it so where the, the light is hitting it, it has that uh, golden sheen to it. And I'm what I'm working on here is just working on my shadows. I've got a diluted uh, black alcohol ink in a brush. And then sometimes I'm hitting the areas two or three times just to build up my colors. Oh, and I will say this, before I started doing the uh, the gold, I forgot to mention this before, I did take it outside and put a couple seal coats on there just because I knew I was going to be applying some colors overall and I did not want to eliminate any colors I had in the background already. Now, if I continue to work with the alcohol on top of it, just like really adding a whole lot of color, it eventually will work through the seal. So it's not like an ultimate protection, but for doing some quickie applications like, like this, it, it does just fine and it kind of helps protect that. And that's also another reason why I, I give it a chance to rest. I'll work in one area, keep moving around, and I might come back to it. Like I had already worked on that eye and then I came back to it later on. People seem to like watching the eyes develop, so I thought I'd zoom in a little bit for you guys. And I'm just layering on the alcohol ink. I want it to have that nice golden look to it. And then I'm adding a little bit of gold in the eyes too, just to kind of tie everything together.
Now I'm just messing with a little bit of white alcohol ink and I didn't want it to be a perfect clean white light, a uh, white area. I wanted it to have some shade to it. So that's why I'm just hitting some of the highlight points just to kind of draw attention a little bit more and give it the illusion of some um, shape. So overall, I think he's coming together rather nicely. I'm very happy with him. All right, let me give you an overall view of this guy. Let's see, his overhead. I'm bringing in for some detail. A little bit different treatment than I normally do. And I just was just needing to play around. I think the eye turned out pretty cool. Love how the background looks like ripples of smoke. Yeah, I'm stoked by it. What are you guys saying? Do you like the touches of gold in the scales? I think it adds a little bit to it. I'm happy with that. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. And check out the links in the description below for my Amazon store where I link all the art supplies I use. Click away, I get a tiny bit of commission, but it doesn't change your price at all. We're talking pennies here. And uh, all my resin supplies, I get it from Ars Till Death. There's also a coupon code down there for you too. Yeah, my tongue's getting a little tired here. Uh, and also my Etsy store. Go buy some stuff. There y'all.